What we invented is a microbubble generator. It works with two major components, a fluidic oscillator, which causes the airflow, could be liquid, but in this case we're generating bubbles, causes the airflow to pulse from one side to the other of its two outlets. That goes into the second major element, a microporous diffuser. The pores can be anywhere from 20 microns in size up to a few hundreds of microns in size, and that can give us the range of bubble sizes on that same scale, and that's the key element of the invention. We've created the possibility to make the bubbles on the scale of the pore without adding any extra energy. Other people can do microbubbles, but their microbubbles have uh, electric fields, or they push a lot, a lot of water around, or they saturate uh, due to high compression, or, or they uh, use acoustic and ultrasonic fields to cavitate to form these. That all adds energy to it. We found a way to do it with just the amount of energy that's necessary to inject the air. We've already identified over 40 applications. Some of them are quite new. Many companies and many industries, they want to have people that they trust. In the water sector, we've been dealing very closely with AECOM design build of nearby Barnsley. They know how to match the process requirements to the outputs of our invention. The potential in the water industry alone is quite large. We use bubbles, believe it or not, in quite a number of applications. So the microbubble technology has got terrific potential. There's also applications that cross the water sector to energy. Uh, for instance, we have projects on anaerobic digesters where we use microbubbles five different ways to try to enhance the energy efficiency of the digester. We're actually talking about potentially reducing the electricity usage over the UK for something like half a percent of all the electricity in the UK. Now that is a really worthwhile benefit. So imagine if we had say a tenth of a square meter of surface area and we're boiling, the top surface may have somewhere around double that or two tenths of a square meter. By comparison, our micro bubbles have hectares of surface area, thousands of times faster in the evaporation rate. We can produce vapor faster than anybody else has done it with micro bubbles. So the energy savings could bring this to be the desalination plant of the future. I really enjoy working with Will because he, he, he's enthusiastic and we hope we'll have a long-term partnership together because again the two different views uh, makes a really good partnership. As we do uh, develop it and then hopefully roll it out uh, we want Will to play an active part. We need Will to come with us to the customers to explain the technology and we also need Will to understand their point of view, to understand their perspective. Historically our department has been very strong in fuel technology but about 15 years ago we started to migrate into some new fields. Over the last decade we've been assembling the diagnostic equipment so that we can study microflows, we can make microflows, fabricate the, the way in which we do it. Uh, we've put some very expensive equipment together to be able to make any microfluidic device we like. When we take the step, take it from the lab out into the field for the first time, we've got to make sure that the water company is really happy and ensure we have to ensure to them that they can do it safely. This is what we bring to the party. We help Sheffield University take it out of the lab, we talk to our clients, we talk to our customers, and we give them the confidence that we can do this safely.